Bitcoin.com. Welcome back to the Shikon.com show, everyone. Uh, we thought we'd do a bit of an update because there's been a lot of spicy stuff happening in the last few days, in the last week. Uh, so we kind of wanted to just review that and see where we're all at emotionally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I, we, we thought we'd jump into probably what is uh, the most developing story right now. Uh, which probably it will take probably an hour or two for me to post this. There'll probably be way more that's, that's surfaced by then. Uh, but Wintermute uh, was hacked very, very recently. Uh, they announced it within the last, I don't know, hour. Hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to pull up that link there, Nick? The. Uh... Yeah. If you want me to share the screen. So, yeah. I mean, I've just heard this name a lot. I guess Wintermute is one of the. One of the larger market makers uh, in crypto. Yeah, they recently announced uh, they were the the market maker, official market maker for Tron. Oh, that's that uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean they they were, yeah, they've been floating around as as one of the bigger market makers for a while. I guess alongside. I guess and um, Alameda, right? yeah, the number I'm reading now is like 160 million from from only the the DeFi operations. Yeah, and I read in some chat that. Somebody was speculating uh, their private key was generated by um, a faulty tool. I have not verified this, so uh, we'll, we'll probably figure out yeah. more in a while. But yeah, so I guess uh, the, their DeFi wallet just got uh, just got drained. And then yeah. also, when the when the CEO did the the kind of, I think he just called it the short update, right? Uh, <laughs> where he, where he tweeted about it, he said it was. The number the numbers were a little bit vague. There was a lot of a lot of uh, focus on funds being safe. I guess yeah, uh, lenders could recall uh, loans if they wanted to, and and I get this. It's like if you if you if you have a loan with them and you get nervous, then you're gonna do it. But if it just says, don't worry about it. Yeah, but if you want to, you can. Yeah, exactly. They That's have the good. money there, which is good. Uh, but I guess yeah. I guess more will come out pretty soon so it's a bear market rug this one yeah it's unfair been a, a few already there's been a few already this bear market like lots of hacks and lots of, of things going around with hacks yeah. and drainings and even even the solana wallets got it uh some time ago i don't know if you remember mm-hmm. and well winter I mean, mute were in, involved in the optimism they, they called it a blunder where they accidentally I can't remember, this, remember the specifics now, but they definitely misplaced twenty million dollars worth of, of OP tokens. So that was like, and that was that was only in oh, they said the wrong contract or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When they were doing something with the, I, I can't remember the specifics, but anyway, it's it's pretty unfortunate. Test, this, <laughs> test. This is real testing in production. That's uh, what DeFi is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's in the case already. I see if it's set to here. <laughs> He's always, we will, he's we will see. I guess we can see how this one this one plays out. If we get any updates, we'll flash them up on the screen <laughs> yes. in bright red <laughs> writing. Uh, you know, if it's uh, if it's significant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I guess I guess the other the other big thing uh, which happened, and we, we had a little <laughs> we had a little merge watch party, which was <laughs> wildly uh, exciting. <coughs> uh, yeah. Sad, saddest merge. watch party. <laughs> yeah, we watched. We sat there. <laughs> there was a panda. On the screen, and then, uh, and then the price of uh, Ethereum fell by thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is really what happened. Like it's, people, people is still waiting for the pump, that pump, and that never happened. No, no, that's, that will never, that will never come. No, no. <laughs> well, it's, it did. Ha- it did happen for an hour. It went up, went up a bit. It went, and up, then it... It went up ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, went no up, it, it, it went like it went up like a hundred dollars more or less from one thousand maybe uh, up maybe. to one thousand six hundred and something. And okay, something. maybe there was like a maybe there was like a tick <laughs> on the candle or something. But we got to remember we're literally we're literally talking about like literally a zero point five percent move, <laughs> and that's that's what we'll get. Like we're we're arguing about. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> no, and, so, and then it went down thirty uh, percent, mm. and uh, kind of pulled Bitcoin. Um, done with it so now yeah. um all hope is lost this was the only thing we had yeah what <laughs> else is there now 
I like I what like this tweet. What else can we hope for? Is there anything to look forward to? There's there's nothing. I don't know if there's anything. I don't think there's anything. <laughs> but that usually means that uh, you know when all hope is lost. <laughs> no, no. This, this this because this means that we we might be done crushing soon, but then comes to sideways, and that can last for years. So mm. strap well, in. That's good. That's good. That's positive for us at least. If, if it goes sideways for years. Yeah, but nothing happens then. It's just, it's just crypto people being crypto people <laughs> for yeah. a long time. That, that's all. That, no, I'm not. I'm not accumulating. I'm. I'm. I'm just paying salaries. I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you're building. You're growing. Something else <laughs> <laughs> is growing in here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I. I like this. It's like I'm. I'm not getting poor. I'm growing. Yeah, you're growing, you're growing, you're growing. I'm, I'm biddling. <laughs> biddling. Uh, yeah. I'm building. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed this tweet. Uh, the one saying this, 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 this is very artsy. Yeah. It's very, artsy. very accurate. accurate as well. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, very it's, accurate. yeah it's pretty <laughs> on the money that one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like he, I guess he so. did the call before, before everything happened. He just posted this picture. He was saying yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you you got to pull up the uh, the Vitalik, uh, the one where it's you find the video. The, I think there's a video link. Oh, in the there, plane. Nick. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This one. Yeah. You have to. Who did it, who did it <laughs> I think it doesn't have. <laughs> <sound. laughs> I can. I can. Oh, I heard it. Sound, but yeah. Are you I heard, heard it. it. You, just unmute it. Unmute you, it. You muted it again. You muted it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Can you replay that? You got Nick, to replay. Nick played with sound. You have to replay that. I, we, I, we, I we got. The sound. I don't know what's the problem. No, no. You. Just, we heard it. Just click the thing where it says muted. You can do this on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> Come on. I hear it. I hear it. It's amazing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's, That's, uh, he has been pretty spicy on Twitter lately. I don't know if, you, if you've seen. Um, he even he even had a, like a cross with with Galois, who commented and he he sent uh, him yeah. to to study to first algebra linear year. It was like pretty spicy. Well. Uh, yeah, but I think uh, Galois is the one that asked Vitalik to study al algebra. No, okay. I didn't follow that. I think it went in both directions there. I, I didn't follow I, that one. Was it, let uh, me see okay. if I can find it. Well, it's hard to say. I just read some kind of algebra joke that Galois posted, which is something he would absolutely do. <laughs> Yeah. And he said only only twenty something percent of my followers understand it. Uh, I, I think that's very optimistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, I got I it. Like, I got I got like it to it. Zero point two percent, maybe two percent. Yeah, I, I, I know some of I, I know some of the words. It. So it started here. And really got the hope in here, so because I, I'm not able to explain this. <laughs> have you got it up there? Yeah, you would no. have to open so I can see it, Nick. Let me check. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I just know some of the words. Wait. Describing <laughs> the group operation on elliptic curve points, what notation should we use? I think I think when you yeah, it's like when you multiply points, it actually just adds it up many times or something. Yeah, okay, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not so an he, expert on uh, elliptic uh, curve cryptography. So here Vitalik said the answer and explained it. Galo said this, and the and Vitalik's answer is like pretty spicy, like <laughs> Just send him to study. Oh, that was super spicy. I love this. Super spicy. Super spicy. <laughs> I was I was just looking at it so if I understand what they're talking about, but I have no idea. I'm definitely in the 80%. Oh, yeah, yeah. The words just mean like the relationship. Uh... Oh, he responded again. What did he say? Come. Yeah, down there. Yeah. And, and here you know, also did a post explaining. <laughs> Like here, he said this yesterday, and, and like I comment, like waiting for. See, the I thought I thought e to the power of the natural logarithm of anything was just the same, so I thought it was just a, yeah. 
Anyway, yeah. it's been a long time yeah. since I had math. Yeah. This is where this is where we're at in the market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is the reason why I think, um, Vitalik is, is talking about elliptical things and not about Ethereum. This is why the, this is the reason he <laughs> sold the top and I and I didn't. Yeah. Shift with side shift uh, that we also okay, have was... the, 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 the ETH proof of work. Yes, so, that's so what we're that's, going to talk about. Okay, so that's the other part of, of this. So you, you might you might think like, okay, so Ethereum st staking went down. So at least people has still have a, a hope for, for proof of work. No, 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 none of them. Ethereum all tanked. And yeah. the proof of work was like a, also a drain. Or, or an attack. I don't know if you if you heard about this. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. it. There was a replay attack, right? Yeah. So yeah. what's going on? Two hundred blocks, I think. Uh, let me share. Suffers yeah. replay attack. No, no, you're thinking of uh, replay attack is when somebody makes a transaction on the main chain, uh, yeah. and you and you make it happen on on this chain as well. So, wait. Uh, go back up to the top. So it's like a double double spending. Are 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 we playing the message where? I have to see the second part. I'll go to the next. Next okay. part. Next part. The tweet from a uh, blocksec. Okay. Blocksec <coughs> uh, detect that exploiters are replaying the message call data on the proof of work chain. I guess they mean from the proof of stake chain on Ethereum proof of work. And it's some bridge. So there's a bridge that got wrecked. Which bridge didn't verify? The Om Omni bridge of the Gnosis chain. I've I didn't even know that. Was I've thing. literally never heard of any yeah. of these words. Yeah. So it's, so it's a it's a bridge I never heard of on a chain I never heard of. <laughs> where? Yeah. Okay. This is okay. Cool. <laughs> you, yeah, you never so heard about this, this chain? <laughs> Gnosis I've chain. Of, I've heard of Gnosis, but I don't know what. Gnosis is a, a prediction market that was never made, I believe. Yeah. Or at least never made it big. Yeah. Okay, um, but I, I, yeah, I, I get this thing, and that is interesting and extremely niche. I think any professional bridge would operate on both Ethereum proof of stake and Ethereum proof of work. I think they would think about this. Yeah. Um, yeah. But okay, interesting. But it's yeah, not also, like uh, this is not critical whatsoever. It's got nothing to do yeah. with Ethereum proof of work. It's a, a problem with the bridge. Also, there are some bullish um, things happening over there. I mean, I know Andreas. Oh, are you talking you, about the the proof the of NFTs? work? Yeah, the NFTs. I, I, <laughs> what I, NFTs? I'm, I'm not being able to <laughs> to find the tweet, but they have the the first NFT. Let me let me find it. There was like a yeah. It's, it, is. is it Rarible or, or or a different one? It's, it's the first um, marketplace for NFTs in, in this chain. Yeah, yeah, oh, here, is the here first. it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay, show us. <laughs> I mean, if this isn't late to the NFT game. Okay, so <laughs> is, it, is it Newton? We are now officially announcing the first NFT marketplace on Ethereum Pow chain. <laughs> so yeah. okay, so, and yeah. in all caps, all all Ethereum NFT get airdrop Ethereum W NFT. So you're just... Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's how forking yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get a you get a mutant board ninja hero proof of work ape on what's this website yeah. called on on nuvton.io. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. This is a man. <laughs> Ethereum proof of work is such a second grade. <laughs> Wait, you, you can you pull up the the site on this tab? Oh yeah, shows shows Newton.io. Newton. You what? It's funny when you say Newton though. <laughs> <laughs> Newton. <laughs> it's like the new to it. It's it's like the Jamaican uh, Newton. <laughs> Newton. <laughs> Let's see if we if it's loading. Does it load. Okay. That's yeah. seriously bullish. 
That means it's very <laughs> early in development. Oh yeah, okay. That's yeah. what you want. Yeah, we don't even have white paper. Yeah, yet. Th no, this is pre. This is a pre-product. Oh, 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 there we, we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's funny. It's just literally every single thing, just a replica of OpenSea. Yeah. Do you think so? This was well, definitely in made in a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Click on CryptoPunks. Uh, See what's there. It was just there. Let, let's yeah. let's bet on the on the floor price. How much is the floor price? In, oh yeah, no no floor price. There's no volume. Yeah. No volume. <laughs> there can't be a floor if there's no volume. <laughs> That's okay. Oh my god. Okay. I have two so pumps this is very early one. stage. This is I, yeah. uh, this is very bullish. Do they have a token? How do I invest in this? <laughs> How do I invest in in Newton? <laughs> but have you have you seen also? Um, there's a lot going on around Ethereum lately. So, so the, the um, all the thing with the security on the on the on the states, the securities sec. Oh, the yeah, the SEC. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, after, what was what was going on with that? It was after. Uh, so when Ian Bellina got screwed. Uh, by the SEC for for conducting ICOs and whatever he was doing. Uh, shilling ICOs. Shilling ICOs. Yeah, there's a part in the small print which basically gives a nod that the SEC now has jurisdiction over Ethereum due to the yeah, majority yeah, yeah. of uh, nodes being in the US. Um, which, I mean, you know, they were going to try and try and do that. If of they course. Could. Um if it gets anywhere, then that's like another thing, right? Yeah. And there's also this. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm curious who, is that like an official position? Is there's this one lawyer at the SEC? How many lawyers do they have? A thousand? Yeah. Like, I don't actually know. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, maybe it's, maybe it's better that the SEC runs Ethereum than uh, the Ethereum Foundation. <laughs> maybe, maybe, we can get a pump. maybe we can get a pump if they take over. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Just, Just like, imagine. Hon honestly, imagine I'm, I'm ready for it. At this point, I'm ready for a change in management. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine well, how, many, how, many, how many theories will be issued daily. Yeah. What, yeah. Is, <laughs> what is his name? Gens Gensler? Maybe he would be, he could be the CEO of Ethereum. Yeah. The new Vitalik. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I'm, I'm very open minded to, to this kind of stuff. They're good at pumping, pumping the bag. So I guess it, mm -hmm. you know, it could work. Yep. Oh, well, wait. <laughs> check this. Just check this, this chart. What is showing? Oh, wow. That, that's pretty high concentration in the US, right? Yeah. Nodes? Yeah. 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 It's because you're running on Amazon. What's that? No, name? no, no, it's not that big. It's because of Coinbase. That's a thing. Coinbase, oh, yeah, but, have you Coinbase seen, is have you... running on Amazon about as well, no? They're, they're talking about the nodes. The nodes run on Amazon. Coinbase doesn't have a Coinbase doesn't have a basement full of uh, servers in the middle of San Francisco. Amazon has them in the US. But can't you can't oh. you choose? Like I don't know. You know way more about this than I do. But surely you can have. It's pretty easy to. Can't you fix that problem by moving the? Yeah, and I'll I'll tell you where I'll tell you where uh, I'll tell you the countries where Amazon has data centers. From the list, US, yes, uh, Germany. They have one in Frankfurt. France, uh, I'm unaware. Singapore is uh, one of their biggest data centers in this region. They have one in Japan that is being um, in Tokyo that is being used by FTX and many other exchanges. And they have a big one in Ireland. So basically, this is a list of uh, where the Amazon data centers are. <laughs> That's what you're reading. I'm sure if you scroll yeah. down, you'll find like Sweden somewhere. Yeah, this uh, is just a list of uh, this is a list of popular uh, data centers. Source. And, and see yeah. this. Sweden, see, there's so no like, there's no like Italy because they don't have a data, data center in Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. Oh, anyway, zero point five eight. But yeah, um, but yeah, it's it's all on Amazon. I mean, Infura runs uh, many places, I think. But yeah, can they can they not easily? I, I mean, I don't know. Do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just click the other button. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not a problem. So, so yeah. can they literally decentralize Ethereum through AWS, basically? Yeah, you just you just yeah. save on the computer elsewhere. Yeah. So it, I mean, it costs almost the same. Yeah, yeah. It's if, just a few places are expensive, but uh, <laughs> those in the list are uh, quite affordable to have a computer. That's good to know. I don't know if, you, if you've seen, but the the main the main stakers uh, in 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 Ethereum now, it's like it's pretty centralized. It's um forty six. 0.15 percent 
uh, distributed between of, of the staking power distributed between Coinbase and, and Lido Finance. Like, mm -hmm. so, 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 but, in part, what what they were saying about the the proof of work and the proof of stake it was that one big issue Ethereum is going to have was the centralization due to to big um, big nodes. Mm. And, uh, so now the fifty percent of the nodes are controlled by only two. Yeah, so I mentioned this to uh, mentioned this earlier today that this used to happen in Bitcoin a lot. Some pools would always get very big. Uh, yeah. So as pools, uh, Bitcoin mining pools used to get over fifty percent. Uh, it would actually have a negative impact on the price of Bitcoin, uh, and there would be a lot of discussion, and people would start moving to other pools. Yeah. So the pool would actually try to uh, decrease their dominance down to, uh, I forgot the numbers, but say like 30% and then split it across more pools. So I think if, um, if, the, if the people staking large amounts of Ethereum are smart, uh, like Lido, like Coinbase this, then I think they should uh, maybe, maybe try to, to increase it down a little bit. So maybe Lido should, um, Find some uh, find some way to cap it as well because it makes it look much better if you can spread it out and yeah. Lido will still make a lot of money maybe even more because it's better to have thirty percent of something decentralized mm, than yeah. to have fifty one percent of something that is not yeah especially yeah, 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 on the price of the token so Lido fi fix your shit yeah but uh, that's that's um, doesn't this still happen uh on bitcoin like seven seven mi mining pools control the 19 percent of the mining power or something yeah like but that. seven is a lot and i, uh, I remember I mean, the people seven, the people not, not 100. yeah but the people so the people running these mining pools they're not even friends all of them they, they don't collude they have no reason to they uh yeah. they're from different countries they have very different values it's it's not a risk uh, they're not, the they're not a, a mining cartel, right? They're not that. In some, in some ways, they are. Uh, they are in the way. They're not. A, they're not like OPEC, where they turn up and down the hash rate. I think, uh, yeah. because it is competitive. But they, I mean, they do uh, have. They do have meetings. They agree on things. They disagree on things. You uh, don't think. You don't think that they. They don't like. They don't do things like. In, in, in accordance to, to sometimes maybe manipulate the, the price or something like all, no, all of a sudden, doesn't uh, work. Uh, uh, these, these days, for example, these days a uh, price tanked a lot and suddenly uh, uh, an ETF was approved. So it's like, oh, well, well, I, I don't but think that's, that's an external uh, factor, right? I don't mean that's, I don't yeah, mean no, yeah, maybe it's an arrangement, you don't know, because uh, ETF approved it means like big fishes want to come in. Like let's tank the price. I don't, I don't think anyone's anyone's buying and buying. <laughs> this is a this is a very very complicated idea you have here with a lot of, <laughs> a lot of moving parts. I, I think maybe you should start a sub stack. <laughs> you, can, you can draw some lines between the photos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me, stuff, let me yeah. some some conspiracies uh, here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need like third eyes all over your thing. You know, the big like yeah. eye with a triangle. Yeah. Everywhere. Have you looked? Have you have you looked at the Bitcoin logo? It's yeah. The, it's the it's the Freemasons inside the Bitcoin logo. Yeah. <laughs> sailor, sailor is a reptilian too. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> let's um let's round this one off with some chit chat around Do Kwon. So he's oh. uh he's come out and uh well South Korea have come out and said that they put an arrest warrant out for him, which is which is a bit inconvenient for them because he's based in Singapore supposedly. Mm. Uh, and he says that he's not on the run, but they say he is on the run. Mm -hmm. Uh, so here we go. So he says, I'm not on the run or anything similar for any government agency that has shown interest to communicate. We're in full cooperation and we don't have anything to hide, uh, which is not what the South Korean government is saying. What, a, what, a, I don't yeah, understand. Um, what is the warrant for? What has he done? I don't get it. Um, I can't remember. It, because it, it's certainly not a crime to be stupid. I, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, if he, that if it cost. was a crime to be stupid, I think we'd have um, very few people left in crypto. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think it was I violating think... securities laws in South Korea. I think that's what it was. It wasn't... Um, okay, so it's def... going to get a fine. 
Yeah, I don't think it was defrauding yeah. investors or anything. Like it wasn't. Yeah. Um, oh, because they were misrepresenting sure. that they were mis. They were like using the collateral twice, and maybe sometimes it's. I bet everybody does that. <laughs> I think there's a whole lesson around this. Is like, crypto scammers always get away with it. Like. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but yeah, but no is he a scammer though? You, I mean. <laughs> haven't haven't you seen what happened with Luna? Like all that money yeah, but, lost. Well, yeah. but he was just trying his best to blow like make it the best he could. He probably had very good intentions. This, this is it. probably this is probably <laughs> his best idea to <laughs> yeah. the best of his abilities. I mean if he nah. They did a, I, they I, did I, OTC trades the, uh, before everything collapsed. Hmm? Did, haven't they haven't they done OTC trades, like all the counter trades? Um, with with three AC and some of those, and, and yeah, but that but also, also, also and stuff like that. Every, every literally like we saw those collapses of all these big crypto companies. Though it's yeah. literally like eighty percent of the industry seems to have been doing yeah. these dodgy deals. Yeah, man, it seems. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'm sure he broke some kind of law, but uh, it doesn't so sound it, like a scam to me. It just sounds like a, a lot of greedy people with no financial literacy gave all their money to other greedy people with no financial literacy, and then you get this. So I'm just reading an article here <laughs> saying that uh, like South that Korean idea. prosecutors, like the, the pro South Korean prosecutors are classifying Terra's token as a security, which would open him up to violations of the country's capital markets act. Oh no, he will get the fine. Yeah, yeah. He's Thousands gonna... of dollars in fines. <laughs> yeah. He looks pretty stressed, although. Nah, I think I think yeah. he looks good. <laughs> well, you got to think how much how much did he how much did he get out of it before it all collapsed? I'm imagining he's he's, he's doing alright. Probably more Doquan. than zero. More than yeah. zero. Yes. Um, <laughs> Doquan, I think he did a great job. I I, I have no <laughs> resentment. I also had no Luna, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't care. So yeah, I don't, it's I crazy. It's crazy because it. because uh, Luna Classic and Luna they still sometimes pumping. It's like it looks. It, like um, exit liquidity uh, from from someone in there, because suddenly it pumps, and, and like all the details go like, oh, Luna, Luna pumping, and they start throwing the money into that shit, and suddenly, suddenly it dumps again, but so so fast and so hard, it's like it's obvious someone is exiting his liquidity in there. Why would you buy that? Just pumping Why dumps. Just pumping dumps. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, they they know if you're a, if you're a. If you've got enough liquidity, then you know that people are going to jump on this, and you just of course you're sure. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you yeah. know it's coming. I think so, I think Doge Doge has more fundamentals nowadays than than Luna and Luna yeah. Classic. Has a lot Sorry. of fundamentals. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were there for the fundamentals, but you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 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 talking here with um we have we have Mr. Doge specialist the Doge specialist. <laughs> yeah, I just wait for my airdrops. I don't I don't play around. I've not uh put too much time into it. <laughs> let's let's call it a day there uh we're hitting the half an hour mark so uh yeah guys remember to check out uh shiko.com catch the newsletter which goes out each and every friday uh you can also read the whole thing on twitter so at shiko.com you'll see it just below there uh and yeah be sure to uh, also check out our sponsors sideshift.ai uh if you're looking for no sign up crypto trading uh and we'll see you next time yes <laughs>